everyone and welcome to a new popper video we are playing today blue red scred which is uh, the deck that i want to bring at uh, popper get in rome except uh, that i haven't played a uh, popper in a while there were just too many formats but now i'm back uh, to play to play this format so i'm gonna start with the last list that uh, uh, Spock Vidaloka, the most accomplished popper player uh, that loves this archetype on Magical Line. He's Brazilian and he, well, you know, is, this, this is the mox champion of this format and he loves this deck. Uh, so I'm always, uh, I'll always just love to start with his last version and see what I like. So let's take a look at what he likes right now. So he's back on Augur of Bolas. I'm gonna assume the reason is that Mono Red is actually back with the new Clockwork Percussionist, which by the way, made a video uh, with that card on Mono Red uh, that you can check out. And also he's playing the Deuce. The Deuce is a card that I've never considered in Popper, but it's just card card advantage. And this deck definitely has Drogo with um, counter spells on two mana, so it's nice. Uh, we're also playing only the blue Monarch. It doesn't have the red Monarch anymore. I guess with, you know, three breath weapon, you really don't wanna uh, kill your five two. Uh, three Mystic, four Terror, which by the way has been reprinted in uh, uh, the new set that's coming out this weekend. So you may, uh, <laughs> I don't know, find more copies of it now. No, not that it's expensive. Playing Popper. Um, all right, we'll are revealed in the mana base. I mean, kind of classic stuff outside of that. Uh, mana base has five Blue Metal Blast and five Red Metal Blast. Typical blue red fashion. A couple of Anul, yeah. I mean, I, I think like the biggest innovation is definitely the Deuce. And also bring it back to the um, Augur Bolas, which you know used to be a pillar of this archetype, and then got cut in order for you to be faster. And again, mostly just Mono Red just being uh, really not that popular after the uh, Monastery Swift Spear ban. Plus, on Magical Line, Mono Red tends to be more popular in the leagues normally. Buenos dias, Daniel. Starting already. Let's go. Sure, I'm keeping this end. I have a couple of plays on turn one. One is, and I think I like that best, uh, Island Brainstorm. Uh, based on that, I can either go uh, Augur of Bolas, if I hit a second and tap land. I love to do Brainstorm Augur of Bolas, because you know, Augur of Bolas is a high variance card, and if you can set it up with Brainstorm, I enjoy that more. Or if things go uh, you know, not according to plan, you can just upkeep uh, Cycle or Revealed. This way you shuffle your top two, which are gonna be spells, and then I'm gonna get your top land. So yeah, I think this is I'm gonna sequence you my hand. Playing a blue deck with a lot of cantrips. So actually knowing how to uh, sequence these is important. Okay, it's an island mirror match. Perfect, so there's the island, meaning that I can shuffle away one card and draw another card. I think I should don't mind shuffling while we a brainstorm. But it, it, it only happens if, you know, there's an, a card that's better than brainstorm, which is not guaranteed. Ponder. I probably like Ponder more. Having an um, option between the two is nice. And when your hand is good, in early game especially, you don't really want to brainstorm. So now brainstorm is just back into my deck. Maybe I can draw it later, you know? Sirian, hello. And welcome for the sixth month. You got yourself a Totellino badge. Okay, so here I have the choice between. Um, I think I have a lot of choice, but my choice would just be Island Go here. I can play end of turn, brainstorm lore revealed. Or I can go counter spell if they play a 5 5. Yeah, it's bad if they have um, Spell Starter Sprite, but I don't think that deck plays Spell Starter Sprite. Like back in the days, you really could not do this play, but... Alright, that's... 
Okay, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna get a volatile fjord here. Might as well just get in now. Did shuffle. <laughs> this is the magical line. Huh? <laughs> Doesn't work as well, I guess. All right, let's go ponder. I guess I should have done ponder before the patch because if there's like a good card and two bad card, I can shuffle. Yeah, I'll shuffle anyway. All right, hold up counter spell. And I'm not gonna do brainstorm now, despite his mind efficient to do. I'm not going to because I'll I'll try to maximize it next turn, shuffling away two lands and then uh, sorry, putting back two lands and then shuffling. If I waited on my Volatile Fjord, I would have played this, and then I would have had two lands in hand, and then I could have gone that. Our opponent, uh, Mental Notes to clean their top. Milling, uh, Counterspell and Demon Fear. So the fact that they milled Counterspell make, make, makes me think they have another one. So it's very important when you play Magic to just think about these things. We're gonna Counterspell, they have for sure a Spell Pierce here, 100%. Or a Dispel. Like they would have never... No? I was going to say it would never jam, but I guess that's not true. All right, let's go brainstorm. I have a land to shuffle and uh, another land to shuffle. I think I'm just casting Azure Fleet Admiral here. Which is gonna mean I'm gonna redraw both of my lands, which is not ideal. But I think like resolving the monarch when I'm so far ahead on board uh, is nice. Like opponent may play like a lot of creatures now, which is problematic, especially since I don't have a scred yet. Hello, librarian. How am I feeling? Not, not great. Not great. My nose uh, keeps on being problematic, but it's okay. All right. Be blocked by creatures of honor control. I've been playing with uh, um, what's it called? Um, uh, Aragorn, which is the opposite of this. Okay. Land go. Opponent again, remember, discarded a land, meaning that, sorry, discarded a counter spell, meaning that they have at least a counter spell in their hand. So, what I'm gonna do, I think, is that I can block with a Zul Fleet Admiral, and then I can go Lightning Bolt. Opponent is going to. Counter spell the lightning bolt. It award. When it should let me pay the word first. And then I'll do this nice little four mana draw too effect okay let's drop a murmuring mystic and go ponder Terror and Scred here. And now what happens is that the monarchy just gives me cards. 
I mean, just an attack, that's not how we win the game. We win the game by just rock hard advantage. Just immediately snap trade here. But I just can't win this game anymore. This is the last counter spell. I don't even care. Now you just you just can't lose. Like this is the typical popper game where you just don't fight over the card advantage. You fight over the threat only. You have the monarchy just just sitting here and and milking value. Should make an all my land drop. Once this resolves, the game is is over. All right. Now, if the three breath weapon to cut, and also lightning bolt to cut, only three lightning bolts in this list. I just noticed. Interesting. We have at least five of this. I guess the rest is really bad. So I'll have one lightning bolt. Uh, macro archetype is mono blue terror. <laughs> I don't know. Tempo. I made a, definitely made lots of videos with the terror decks, either blue, red, or mono blue. I really dislike boomerang. I like Deem inferior. Uh, I prefer red over mono blue. But I think they're both good choices. I don't know, blue black has never has never I never like blue black. I just like red more. They're similar though. Both of them are very fine for sure. Mostly because blue black has not a good time against affinity, which is like always the most popular deck in any format. In popper. Whereas blue red is a lot more ways to deal with it. All right, I'm gonna just grab a mountain here. Don't mind to cast brainstorming upkeep if it means flipping Delver. It's like it basically just two damage. It's it's like you know. It makes sure that your Delver flips. <laughs> Actually, don't mind casting another mountain. Very awkward. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let my opponent mental note themselves. Upkeep. Let you wait. Oh, I'll wait. You flip it with deep analysis. Okay. One journal You have deep analysis in end. And now I scred. It's kind of like, it's F2, so I might be my opponent counters. If I only had one burn spell up, I would have scred in my end step. But basically now I'm just happy if my opponent wants to fight over this. It's just like trading time. I can already play a, yeah, a serpent. Very early in the game. But now we're post sideboard, so we have uh, a lot more answers. We have five pyroblasts. Number of bullets can brick. 
I can't just go Augur of Bolas, Pyroblast. That's kind of like the dream scenario. Yeah. Or I can go Brainstorm and guarantee a fifth land, a fourth land for Mystic the next turn. I think I'm gonna go Brainstorm. Yeah, now definitely. Definitely a brick, the fact that I chose to play Double Mountain. It did, it did not work out well at all. Because I would have like brainstormed end of turn to hit the Augur of Bolas. Next, this turn I would have gone Augur of Bolas, Ponder. So playing the second mountain was extremely bad. It is what it is. I made a decision and I definitely paid for it. And I hope that, you know, that's just a mistake of, um, you know, I can't forget how to play with this deck. Which is why you should always practice before tournament. And, uh, you know, despite I've played this deck infinite times, you kind of forget how important it is, the, 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 the time sequencing in Popper. You really just can't afford to, quote unquote, time walk yourself. All right, the opponent only has one blue up. Meaning that meaning that I can go Murmuring Mystic Go. If I go Murmuring Mystic Go, let's think about it. I go Murmuring Mystic Go now. What happens is my opponent has Boomerang or Demon Fear, I just lose on the spot. But if they don't, I got a fifth land next turn and they just kind of go off. So I think I will. Again, it's it, this ain't, this play loses to any bounce spells on the spot. I feel like I'm on the draw in a much weak position, so I'm just okay to take the loss if they have exactly a card. So I back deep analysis. And the demon fear are out concede. Let's go game three and hopefully not making any more mistakes. On the play. Turn one, I'm gonna go lure and reveal cycle. Early game of this deck, you don't wanna cast game trips. You just wanna shape up your mana. Those are the most important things with this deck. I'm just gonna go out of your go and spell pierce whatever thing they cast end of turn. No, not that one. I don't want to cycle or reveal just yet. Maybe I should have been more efficient. Kind of always trying to tap your lands out. Okay. I like what I see here. I like lands, especially like, yeah. Remembering Mystic protected by Pyroblasts can just take the game over. Mental note. Shitting my spell peers. I don't think my opponent can like fight. Sorry. I don't think my opponent can punish me. We're still playing Pauper. There's not too many ways my opponent can punish me next turn. Even if they manage to resolve their creatures, I have a kill spell. And I put Murmuring Mystic third because there's like no way I cast it next turn. I can just Demon Fear it. I can go three mana, one of their Serpents. Okay. 
They're looking for more or for, for one of them. They cannot make two of them because they cost five. Sorry, it costs two. Delver, okay. Okay. My brainstorm, put two lands on top and play Perilous Landscape. I didn't know the third card could have been an Augur of Ola, so I would have been happy to play. Hmm. Actually, here I could just cycle or revealed instead of Landscape. This way, I'll have a uh, six spell in the graveyard. If I draw a terror. Alright, usually they flip because they brainstormed. Mental note. Okay. I need one right on the blast this turn. So I need to use another one to protect my mystic next turn. Ever was good threat. One mana three to flyer. Was nice this game. Definitely better post sideboard when I take out bolts and fiery cannonade. I'm not gonna do anything else here. I'm gonna actually hold this power blast to protect my mystic. We have five five now. It could be. It could be. It could be bad. When you draw Augur of Bolas, okay. Here, I could take 11 down to 3. Holding up the Pyroblast for the Mephir Boomerang. Then once you're on top with this, things get better. I'm definitely still in danger here. Take it all. 11 damage down to 3. See, unfortunately, it doesn't fly, so I can't block the Elver. Okay. I could cycle lore revealed. I would open the door for a boomerang though. Power blast. Let's go auger. I can brick. Doesn't. It's okay. Got attack. Zero chance at block with this, so might as well attack. Actually, I don't even need to upkeep stop. I have enough. Um, I have enough spells to cast. I think I definitely take over the game now. Hold one power blast, but I can definitely do. Like brainstorm first, 
I guess no power blast first. It's nice against um, spell peers. Okay. It's good. I think I'm going to do something like this. Stern. Hmm. It's actually not ideal. I wish I found some spells instead of some terrors. Now I think I'm just all in on that. Lure revealed. Like if this lure reveal doesn't resolve, I have to chum block with Mystic. You know what? I should have had Island instead of Terror. Another mistake. Huge mistake. Alright. Thank God. But yeah, I should have had Island instead of Terror. Thankfully. And now I don't attack. Now I actually may, have that, may be dead on board if they find an answer to one of my creatures. I guess I'm just dead to the removal spell and Bird Illusion. I'm on a demon fear on a bird illusion, I'm dead. But you see, this is the lure. Not necessarily, no. No, opponent. I was dead if you just kill this. Not that I'm in a good shape anyway. I just have to chump the Delver. I think I should have to bottom. But yeah, there was... I don't know. I feel like I, I wasn't the player. I had all the cards to win. Something went wrong with my sequencing. This game would have been a loss. Opponent just bounces this. Is his band and pauper? Brainstorm. Let's play it. Thankfully for you, I'm not really doing much. You could find a removal spell. GG. Hmm. Tough loss to kick things off. I definitely, definitely misplayed game two for sure. Game three, probably. Some early game action. Some cantrip sequence in, not sure. All right, round two Mulligan. This is very clunky. I'll keep it though. Forest Finder and Elves. 
I'll double lower in and then see how it evolves. I guess I did not tweet. I set it up, but I didn't click the the button. All right. All right, plan against elves. Want to cycle both of these or just one? I can't keep the second one for uh Brainstorm reasons, I guess. Maybe even the Mulligan decision was wrong here. We're supposed to keep the, um, the Murmuring Mystic. But watch out, it's good. Under. We need to find a removal spell for this. A cycle get an island. Then another ponder. Shuffle. We need to kill that one, otherwise, we lose. We don't lose just yet. The Queen of Ranger. Oh yeah, we do lose because then they protect itself. All right, no cannonades. Okay. Game two begins. With a top land and a go. Okay. Now this is the classic. We can go Augur Bolas in the dark, or I can just I just take it safer. Take a safer line. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab an island and then ponder. This way, I get to hit with Augur Bolas. It's like a counter spell. So that next turn I can draw Breath Weapon, do something, and then I can play Augur Bolas. Because you want to make sure that it hits. Nabaya, hello. Bonjour. Virtual Ranger gives them like mana to protect from a cannonade, something like Halo, for example. Is a card that these decks play. I think I like to just cast a one three. Get Counterspell, get Top Lend, then I, I can set up the Sweeper plus Counterspell on the Protection Spell, on the Hollow. Timber Watch, yeah. Timber Watch is very good. Very scary. 
especially with Queen of Ranger. Oh, wow, they tap out. Oh, there it is, Hollow. It's a terrible winding way. They can still cast it because they can untap a land and play Hollow. So I think I'm going to be on the fence about going Breath Weapon here. Still on the fence about that. I could just go cast into fire on these two. When I cast Hollow, I go counter spell. Then tap with this and this, and maybe this. I think it's much more manageable. It knows about my counter spell too, so maybe they just don't do anything. It's like they still do it. Yeah. If you just want breath weapon, it would have just lost on the spot. A. Pass. They have no cards in hand. They're just all in on this card. I didn't know about the con spell. Because we played Augur of Bolas and we actually revealed it. So four cards in my graveyard. Although I think now I like to go just Monarch. Because like, the opponent isn't a squeeze now. They either take my Monarchy back or they... Keep up the Timber Watch. I think this is the first game that I played well since the video started. <laughs> it's definitely a deck that requires you to be on the game. Like, it's a deck that requires you to just be like. Not, I mean, I could easily lose. Like, they just top deck something power. What is this? What do you draw? Oh. That's a draw. Jeez. It's a terrible, terrible draw for me. Ah. <sighs> Sorry, this gets back to monarchy because it can be blocked. Need like what? Your murmuring mystic? Oh, what I can do is. Yeah, nothing probably, right? Just, um, that's five. I can go Augur of Bolas for two. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go Augur of Bolas for two. And then, um, should top the mountain probably. And then to learn Terror for two. I just draw a fresh card off the top. Oh, what did you draw now? Another one? <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, I lose, I lose, I lose. Well, I was able to, like, if they don't top deck now, they just attack, a triple block, they pump, I take it, then I bolt this, and I have to just deal with the 6-6, six, six, which I can deal with. But Alright. Well, 0-2. Zero, 0-2 two. Uh, 
and the popper leagues are so hard. Proper leagues are so hard. You just be on top. You just you just need to be on top of your game, and you need to be lucky. Uno, buongiorno. A lot of creatures. And creatures can deal like tons of damage. So if you just gain, mamma mia, ma che mano è? Alright, three mountains. Keep, and uh, I guess let's hope my opponent... ...lays uh, a deck with creatures. What am I bottom in here? Is it Bottle Fjord? Yeah. Break Furnace. Okay. This start is so broken. Goblin Tomb Raider plus Great Furnace. It feels it feels so unfair. <laughs> it shouldn't come up that often, but on Magical Line it comes up all the time. On our opponents, of course. Double? On the play too. Ah, my man, but they had a game loss. I just took a game loss, basically. Uh, so I think I just have to scrap this. It's not pretty, but I gain two life in the course of two turns. Goblin Bushwalker. Uh, you can go to some mission mark deck and check the list. There are two Augur of Bolas in the list. But then again, it's not my list or anything. I just took the list from uh, the best popper player of this archetype. You say, unfortunately, real burn decks no longer exist. I wouldn't say that's unfortunate. A burn strategy is definitely one of the Worst type of magic you can play. Just, just going upstairs, no interactions. That's definitely not exciting. All right, I keep on trading my cards as a, basically just life gain engines. Synthesizer, Tomb Raider. And the deuce is very bad now. Cobra Repolis. Which you take down. Okay. Well, I'm much happier that you killed that instead of me. <laughs> I think I'm taking Breath Weapon. Seven. I draw land, I'm happy to slam the mystic. I'm wandering to a land, I guess. It's a little bit too many lands. But I want to draw one. I think I'll take one here.
wrong. K lining brings me to three. Can redirect, unfortunately. Sorry for my nose and holding this thing, but I have a nose infection and uh, it's not the best. I guess I can stream without camera on. Okay. I think I'm just slamming this mystic, holding up mountain for no real reason. Dead. Do I want some anti artifact cards? Maybe. The do seems bad for sure. And also the monarch. One more card I gotta cut. Counterspell? Yeah, I don't think I want these. I don't know. I feel like they have very few artifacts that matters. And this is just very low value if they don't draw exactly Great Furnace. You think about it last game, uh, like I think we had we we had a great draw. We just found ourselves on the draw against a modern deck with couple with two goblin guides, you know. It is what it is. We got Lorna revealed. Mm. I doubt that's a good play. I think I'll leave that Clockwork Percussionist hidden me. This card is going to probably deal me a lot of damage. That's yeah, going to counter. Counter. Going to keep the Wallander. Hmm. Okay. I probably just pass here. I could brainstorm and find like a Augur Volus and cast it, but I think I just do it next turn. This way I I'll have counter spell in case they have cool dot or anything else. No buy in. Feeling uh similar to yesterday, unfortunately. Last night and today, I've been doing something new, which I mean, hopefully works, which is like basically drowning my nose in salt water. Which, I don't know. I decided to cash in this breath weapon now. Okay, now, uh, my hand is good enough, I'm gonna go ponder. I, I don't have much to shuffle yet. I can just brainstorm later. Wow. Oh, I'll play Island. I want to play a fourth land anyway. Okay, so this is kind of bad to counter. Yeah, it's just, it's just too weak to counter. Yeah, exactly. They should water up my nose. What happens is definitely... I think I'll take a draw before casting this brainstorm. I'm fine. I think I just I just take one more. Like I don't want to cast brainstorm. My hand is nice. I have nothing to shuffle away.
All right. Oh, finally drew a bad card. <laughs> You know what? I actually want to resolve it this time. Ponder is fine, but this brainstorm I want to resolve. Nice. This is good here. Uh. So, a couple of plays. I can put on top these two and go Island, Augur Volas, and guarantee the hit. And having Hydroblast up. Or. I can put back these two, pass, shuffle, and have Hydro Blast up, and take one from this. Why do I keep on playing these cards? Like, how? How do you find a slot for this? I don't think this is good. Take it? Owner? Shuffle. I'm gonna get Mountain here. Scred. I think counter as well. Block. And I don't want to cast the ball. We'll take one. I need to find the terrors. Seven. Play this pass. But seven life is not much. I don't want to go to six. I go block, block, and bold the lucky. That they don't have metalcraft. Oh, I guess this is bad because I can sack this. Oh yeah, my bad. I forgot this card does something. My this is an awful play. Awful play. I should have just bolted that in my turn. I I basically make them do the only thing that this card does. Yeah, super bad. Man, playing Popper after a month, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like you can't play a different game. I don't know. What's this? It's like a treasure for what? Fire Blast? Hold off a rebirth. Ooh, we have the, the dual commander finalist in the chat. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Old me. Wow, they knew my top deck. They knew my top deck. What a master. What a master, my opponent. We aren't too if they champ attack at all. No. Spell. I may hang go for Horza.
Andrew, mice. Yeah, this is over. They're like two spells in end. I need like cantrip. I'll play this lands because if you draw Lauren Revealed, it's actually important that you hit your land drops. Yeah, GG. Zero three. Zero three. Disaster. 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 Uh, although this league was so dense with decisions that uh, I think it's good enough as a lesson. Uh, this league doesn't tell you, oh yeah, Blue Red Scred sucks now. The league just tells you that if you want to play this deck, you definitely need to be on point. You need to be <laughs> focused and uh, know what you're doing in order to succeed. I, I feel like the Mono Red match, we just lost it. The other two, I think I definitely had agency to win. Anyway, thank you, thank you for watching. I'm gonna uh, drop, record more videos. So, you know, you're gonna get more videos. This is gonna be just a 0 to 3 drop. Question on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and yeah, subscribe to not miss the next videos.